Hi Cancer, this is your November 20th through November 26th weekly tarot reading. We'll have five separate spreads in this weekly reading. In the first spread, we'll be looking at new love coming towards you. In the second spread, we'll check in with those of you who are already married or in a relationship. Then I'll do the X. Spread after that, we'll talk about your work, your business, and your finances real quick. And uh, we'll wrap things up with what you're not expecting to happen this week's spread. Please like, share, and subscribe to support this channel. This first spread is a new love this week. We have uh, the Seven of Cups clarified by the Three of Wands. Then we have the Seven of Swords clarified by Death. We have uh, the Sun in the potential outcome. We have um, the Star with the Ace of Wands and the Four of Wands. And we also have uh, the Queen of Cups on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with um, maybe a Fire Sign, near Leo or Sagittarius. Uh, we also have Scorpio and uh, Aquarius on the table. But you could be dealing with pretty much any zodiac sign. What I can see right away, Cancer, is that either you or the person you're dealing with, uh, in order for the two of you to move forward together, it will require bravery. One of you or even both of you will have to be brave to pull this off, to do this, because in the eyes of other people, it's not going to be okay. All right? A lot of people are going to be against it. People will, some people will disapprove. But uh, you're still doing it. And you know that there is no turning back if you do this. All right? Yeah, sounds kind of mysterious, but let me explain. <clears throat> so we have you on the bottom of the deck, the Queen of Cups. Unless you're dealing with another water sign. But most likely, it's a, that would be you. <laughs> right? <clears throat> we start with the Seven of Cups, clarified by the Three of Wands. Right? The Seven of Cups is a card of uncertainty and clarity. It's a card of um, not knowing exactly what to do or how to pull this off. Or should I do this? Should I not do this? Some of you could be dealing with more than one person, by the way. Right? But um, <clears throat> the Three of Wands clarifying it, yep, you're going to make up your mind with the Three of Wands because the Three of Wands is a card of somebody who made up their mind, somebody who made a decision, and it's final. In this case, there is no turning back. All right? There is no turning back, and I think you know it. And here comes the Seven of Swords clarified by Death. And uh, the, it's followed up by the Sun card. Death could be a Scorpio, the Sun could be a Leo. But um, the Seven of Swords is not a very positive card, to be honest with you. The Seven of Swords is a card of uh, deception, it's a card of cheating, but at the same time, you know, the Seven of Swords is a card of uh, going against the system, I guess. <laughs> the Seven of Swords is a card of somebody who runs away, somebody who is uh, sneaking out, right? And uh, in this case, I think this is you, again, kind of sort of going against the system because other people don't want you to do this, so other people will disapprove. But you're still doing it. You're still doing it, right? Because you're in love. That's all that matters. Death clarifying the Seven of Swords. Could, again, could be a Scorpio you're dealing with. But you know that that's it. Your, change, your life will change. If you do this... If the two of you do this, your life will never be the same again. Death is a card of transformation. All right? And uh, on the right side of the death card, I know the death card is partially black, but on the right side of the death card in the middle, there is a sunrise. This is a chapter of your new, this is a new chapter of your life. And uh, symbolically, the very next card that came out is the sun. All right? The sun could be a Leo you're dealing with. The sun is a card of clarity, so you're going to be crystal clear that, yes, you're doing this, and, yes, there could be, uh, you know, repercussions for some of you, but you're still doing it. Uh, the sun is the happiest card in the deck. You know this will ultimately lead to happiness for you and your person. With the sun card, we always feel on top of the world. We always feel in love and all that good stuff. All right. In the potential outcome, we have uh, the the star with the ace of wands and the four of wands. The star could be an Aquarius you're dealing with, but the star is a wish come true card. Something people usually wish for and hope for, for and hopeful for a very long time. All right. So essentially, it is a wish granted for you. The ace of wands in the middle uh, could be a fire sign indicator. There is Leo Sagittarius, but the ace of wands is a new beginning on the next level up. And uh, the four of ones right next to the deck is a card of a commitment, marriage, some people call it the 11-11 card. To me personally, the four of ones always reminds me of an actual wedding. And it's kind of symbolic that we have uh, the ace of ones, the three of ones, the four of ones, right? We are missing 
the two old ones, but the seven of cups, that the three of ones is quite funny, kind of similar to the two old ones, right? You, this is you sitting in that energy and deciding whether you want to do this or how you want to do this, or you're choosing, all right? So with the three of ones, you will know what to, what you want, and the, the four of ones, yeah, that's what the that's the end game, that's the ultimate goal, and uh, you're gonna get there. So yeah, cancer. I hope all of this makes sense. But that's how I see this. Really happy for you. Congratulations. Cancer, if you are already me, right? Or if you're in a relationship, this spread is for you. We have the four of ones, the eight of pentacles, the six of pentacles, and the knight of pentacles on the bottom of the deck. I don't know how many people this will resonate with, but uh, one of you or both of you will have to work a lot. <laughs> Perhaps more than usual. Um, it's a short week here in the United States. So a lot of people are getting you know, like four days off and uh, some other people are taking the whole week off or an, an additional day off. You are going to be working. Okay. Um, I will still do the work business and finances part separately, but for those of you who are married or in a relationship, yeah, you got work coming your way. But the good news is that it will pay off. It will pay off. Some of you, perhaps you work in like a, I don't know, retail industry, industry or um, like food industry. Uh, that's when people go out shopping <laughs> here, and that's when people go out eating. All right? Um, yeah, we got, you got. Perhaps you work in IT, and a lot of people are going to be off, and you can do like maintenance on your uh, network or your servers or something like that. But you will get compensated accordingly. All right, the, the Knight of Pentacles on the bottom of the deck, yeah, that's money, cash money coming your way. We got the Eight of Pentacles and the Six of Pentacles, right? The Eight of Pentacles is a card of work, business, and finances. The Six of Pentacles, when it comes to work, is a really good card, because this is usually money in and money out, right? And by out, I mean you'll have money to pay for your bills, for what have you. So, um, yeah, that's what I see. Let's see if anybody comes back from the past for you, Cancer, this week. Keep in mind, it doesn't have to be the most recent X. We have the Wheel of Fortune, clarified by the Devil. We have the Four of Cups, the Ace of Swords, clarified by the Chariot. And we also have the Page of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing maybe with a Capricorn, Sagittarius, yeah. But uh, whatever their zodiac sign is, um, the answer is no. You're going to shut them down, you're going to turn them down. Because you know that nothing good is going to come out of that. As a matter of fact, it could just be a booty call. <laughs> you know, I was before I pressed the recording button, I was thinking, should I say booty call or not? And I was like, okay, let's just let's just be honest. Okay, that's what I think it is. The pay, the page of ones on the bottom of the deck all the way through. It is a message coming your way. But the thing about the page of ones, yeah, somebody just wants to have a little fun with you. It's like no strings attached. Let's just. Uh, get together and that's it and then we'll go our separate ways in the morning yeah we got the will of fortune clarified by the devil um, they may even invite you to go somewhere right the will of fortune it could be a card of literally going somewhere it could be a Sagittarius you're dealing with the devil clarifying the the will of fortune could be a Capricorn you're dealing with but the devil is a card of lust it's a card of temptation it's also a card of a very toxic individual and therefore, with the Four of Cups, the next card that came out, you're rejecting it. That is a card of rejection. And uh, the Ace of Swords, classified by the Chariot, that's you, right? The Chariot is your major arcana card. And with the Ace of Swords, you're just, you're just going to be very decisive, very straightforward about it. With the Ace of Swords, you just cut this person out. Bam, they're done. Well, they're already done <laughs> in your mind. But uh, perhaps you'll just be very harsh when you reply to them. Or you may not even reply to them and just simply block them. But you're definitely not uh, getting involved with this individual. All right? Cool. Let's talk about your work, your business, and your finances, uh, Cancer. This week we have the Queen of Swords, the King of Swords, um, the Page of Pentacles, clarified by the Ten of Wands, and we also have the Fool on the bottom of the deck. One interesting spread, Cancer, i got to be honest with you. It's a short week here in the United States, right? But um, you and some other person you're going to be working together on something, on, on some kind of a difficult task. Perhaps um, you realize, or both of you realize, that if you are going to do this by yourself, it's just going to be impossible, right? Or it's just going to be too hard. I do see you partnering up with somebody. I don't know if this is somebody who is already your partner, or it's a new person, but yeah, the king and the queen of swords. You can be either the king or the queen of swords, doesn't matter to me. You can assign the roles as you wish. 
But uh, yeah, the King and the Queen of Swords are uh, a power couple, right? A power couple. Keep that in mind. We have uh, the Page of Pentacles clarified by the Ten of Wands. So the Ten of Wands is a card of something that's really tough on us. It's a card of a burden. It's a card of a lot of responsibilities. It's a card of uh, that we struggle with, right? So you are partnering up because you need to tackle something, some kind of a task, sometimes some kind of a project or a mission. <laughs> All right, and with the full card on the bottom of the deck, here you're just going for it. It's a card of taking a leap of faith. It's a card of um, just starting something new, and at the same time, the full is a card of uh, liberation. So, um, whereas for just one person, this is this could have been too difficult. For two people, a piece of cake. For two people, it's going to be a piece of cake. <laughs> All right, cool. Let's see what you're not expecting to happen uh, this week, uh, Cancer. We have the Ace of Swords, uh, the Emperor, the Six of Cups, and the Six of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an Aries or pretty much any zodiac sign. What you're not expecting is this Emperor showing back up. You already know who this is. This is not the same person as we saw in the uh, X spread. This person doesn't even have to be your ex. <laughs> it could just be somebody from your past, right? The Six of Cups right next to the deck is a card of a soulmate connection, but it's a card of somebody coming back from the past. And the Six of Cups usually is associated with like very warm, very loving, nice energies, right? So the Emperor is the one who is coming back. Could be an Aries. The Emperor is an Aries major arcana card. But it could be like a father figure or a grandfather figure or a figure of authority to you. It could be like a boss uh, from your uh, work from a couple of years ago or 10 years ago, I don't know. Or it could be like a professor from your university because <laughs> they are a figure of authority to you. Right? Then I think they've got something to tell you. Right, the Ace of Swords, the first guy that came out, yeah, they will, whatever they're going to tell you, it's going to be the truth, right? Perhaps the truth is going to come out. But again, I don't see you being getting, I don't see you getting really upset about it, right? But with the Ace of Swords, they're just going to be crystal clear with their communication. It's also part of a new beginning, perhaps they want to reconnect with you and uh, uh, you know, communicate with you more often moving forward. Um, the Six of uh, Wands on the bottom of the deck, it's a really good card. It's a card of um, victory and success. It's a card of feeling good about yourself, feeling good about what's going on. Perhaps this person just wants to share some good news about them, about themselves. All right, yeah, and again, I think you're gonna, you're gonna be okay with uh, communicating with this person. All right, so that's what I have for you, Cancer, for this reading for this week. If this video resonates with you, please like it. Please also share and subscribe. And uh, other than that, Cancer, have an amazing week.